Every great athlete starts somewhere. In this week's Journey to Greatness, we hear from one of the NFL's all-time greatest receivers. Today, the game of football is dominated by passing. From high schools to the pros, teams throw the ball around more than ever in fast-paced spread offenses that keep defenses on their heels. But before today's modern NFL receivers start piling up yards, catches, and touchdowns, Steve Largent held just about every major NFL receiving record. Largent played for the Seattle Seahawks from 1976 through 1989. At the time of his retirement, he held the NFL's career record for receptions, receiving yards, and touchdown catches. He sometimes wonders what his numbers would look like in today's NFL. I would tell you that I think the rule changes have been for the better for the league. I would have loved to play now uh, because I think that my kind of receiver uh, that I was would fit perfectly in the game plan because they're not throwing the ball deep. So I don't have to outrun anybody deep. Uh, and I never was good at that anyway. By his own admission, Largent didn't compare physically to any of today's receivers or even many of the receivers of his time. But he says his work ethic helped him become one of the game's best players in the 1980s. I think if, if people uh, see me and know anything about me, I hope that they remember that the, the way I played the game, that I played, uh, I maybe was not the most talented receiver, but nobody worked harder than I did. Nobody caught the ball better than I did. Uh, nobody fought for an extra yard uh, harder than I did. Uh, and I hope that they just remember that, you know, and this is what I tell my young, I, told, I tell my kids, I tell young people today, that work will win, wishing won't. Largent says he learned the value of hard work during his time at Putnam City High School in Oklahoma. I had a high school coach named Jerry Potter who just passed away a couple years ago. Just a really fine person, uh, a great coach. He was the guy that made the decision to move me from running back to wide receiver. And, uh, you know, I used to cuss him, but then I, now, I'm, now I praise him all the time for that. Uh, but, you know, he was just a, a really a, a guy that inspired me, not necessarily with the halftime speech or pregame speech, but just with the work ethic that he required uh, and the amount of preparation that it took to play a game. He just taught me a lot about the game and hard work and teamwork. Largent would return to Oklahoma after his playing days, and he served in the U.S. House of Representatives for eight years. Whether he was working in politics or in the private sector, Largent has always been able to take lessons from football and apply them to other careers. There, there's a lot of lessons that I learned from football, but I think primarily it was about preparation, knowing how to prepare for anything you do, football or anything else you do in life is so important. And I think there's a lot of people that don't understand how you need to prepare. Uh, and so I think that's one lesson that I learned from football that uh, has really been invaluable. But uh, also, work, you know, working as a team, working as a unit, you got to have an offensive line and receivers and quarterback and running backs, and you got to all work together on that field because there's just 11 guys out there. And uh, you have to do that in life, too. You have to do that in, uh, in anything you do, uh, learning to work with other people, uh, having a sense of humility about you uh, and being a good team player is really invaluable in football and in life.